Hey there everyone, time for another Mandalorian Season 2 episode reaction. Today we're talking about Chapter 12, The Siege. So we're going to talk for a minute or two about some non-spoiler stuff, and then we'll get into our spoilery breakdown. Unfortunately, Ek is still away for tonight, so uh, we will not be having our full TapCap Transmissions breakdown on the podcast. So this is going to be it for this week, I think. Maybe we'll be able to do it again next week. Once again, we got another great episode, and keeping spoilers out of it, we kept seeing some of the ways in which the show has developed. Visually, we saw a lot of stuff that uh, I don't think we would have been able to see in Season 1, and that's been a repeated thing in Season 2, that they've just been able to kind of push the envelope technologically, which has always been something Star Wars is good at. There's a lot of very plot-heavy stuff to talk about, but the uh, one of the things that keeps coming up in this, uh, in this season, which is less spoilery, is we continue to see the development between... Uh, uh, the Mandalorian and the child and kind of how their relationship works and the Mandalorian taking on kind of the father role just through little moments. But aside from one early moment, the stuff we see this season with ships and vehicles definitely looks a lot better and uh, looks less fake than it did in season one in some situations, which like my standards for that, like it doesn't really bother me, but seeing how far they've been able to come with that uh, has been really cool. But we are going to jump into the actual spoiler discussion now uh, and talk about some of the more important plot points. So if you haven't seen it yet, this is the time to drop out in three, two, one. Okay, it's all spoilers now. The Mandalorian is actually a clone of Palpatine. So before we get into the stuff I loved about this episode, we do have to touch again on the fact that we are still doing some uh, some sublight travel between planets, which I it doesn't ruin it for me. It's just I don't love when that comes up. Uh, but there were a lot of things to love about this episode. We did get to see the return of some of the major season one characters uh, who are still alive. So we got the return of Grief and Kara. It seems seems like they're going to be staying on Navarro so they won't be going with the Mandalorian throughout the rest of the season. And I do like that we have characters like that where they'll come back, they'll be around for an episode, maybe two, and they may come back in the finale. But it sticks with the kind of western feel of the show. And uh, I think Bo-Katan from this season is probably going to come back as a character for that, maybe more often. And we still haven't seen anything with Boba Fett yet, so I feel like that's going to be starting to come up soon. The fact that he described his... Uh, Din's reason for having the Razor's Crest so beat up was a run-in with the New Republic, I thought was kind of stretching the truth a bit. We all know it was a run-in with some rocks. You crashed, just admit it. But the main thing we need to talk about for this episode is the scene in the base where we got the hollow message from the cloner from the first season. And we saw in the first season that they had the cloning, like the Kamino insignia, on their sleeve. So we know that there is cloning involved in this in some way. And they talk about how uh, they're essentially trying to inject midichlorian blood, blood infusions, into volunteers, and it seems like they're trying to make them Force-sensitive. This is actually sort of similar to something that happened with the Jedi Knight games, only they use crystals there, I think, and this is being done with blood. I don't know that they'll be successful, but the fact that they're trying... Uh, this ha this episode actually did have a lot of Jedi Knight vibes to me when they're doing, like, the speeder bike chase. That was kind of similar to some, ep to some missions in Jedi Academy and Jedi Outcast, two older video games. But it seems like what they wanted the child four is to take the child's blood and use that to inject into some volunteers, but now they're concerned that that's not going to work and that they don't have enough blood. The other implication there was that the child is a clone, uh, at least that was what I took from it, because they they did seem to distinguish between the child and the original donor when they were talking about uh, where they were getting the blood and everything, so it seems like the donor originally, in my reading of it, would be the person that they got the DNA from to make the child, to clone the child. And would that be Yoda? Like, is Baby Yoda actually Baby Yoda? If you were trying to clone someone to basically be a source of high midichlorian count blood, and they say that it would be hard to have a donor with a higher M count, which seems obviously to mean midichlorians, then Yoda would fit that bill. And if there was any kind of like blood test that Yoda ever had, it wouldn't be unreasonable to assume that Palpatine and the Empire generally had access to some of Yoda's blood or something somewhere, and they were able to try to clone him. And that would line up with the advanced aging of how the child could be about 50 years old 
and around this period be being used for this kind of experiment. The other main speculation I'd have there is that we're potentially going to see Moff Gideon try to give himself force powers if he doesn't have them already. But those are my major thoughts on where we're going with this. That's going to do it for this episode. Let me know what you guys think is coming up. Do be mindful of posting easily visible spoilers in the chat. I accidentally messed up last episode with the description. Uh, there were some points about Bo-Katan I think that were visible, and I edited that out as soon as it was pointed out. So apologies for anyone who was spoiled by that. Either way, hope you guys are enjoying the season so far. We've got four episodes left. Hopefully we'll be able to have a tap calf breakdown of these last, or rather this episode, because we have spoken about the other one. So if you want to hear more in-depth thoughts, longer form discussions with myself and Eckhart Slatter, we do have Tap Calf Transmissions, our podcast, where we talk about Star Wars books and recently The Mandalorian as well. So thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.